Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon where you live and when you watch this. This is Rascal. I'm coming at you from the Basement Arcade. Today, doing a review on the JSOX 7-in-1 Dock. This is model number HB0702. Uh, full disclosure, this was given to me as a review unit. Uh, however, I'm giving an honest review, and you will hear the positives and the negatives of any product I ever review. So, let me go ahead and start doing a walk around on this thing for you. Okay, let's take a peek here. So, here's the top of the dock. This thing is made of metal, so this is pretty darn sturdy. And it's actually got quite a little bit of heft to it. For protecting your steam deck, you've got two pads here, one in the back. But, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of this. This is where it shines. So it's got a good shot of the ports. I've got the USB-C power delivery. I've got display port. We've got HDMI. And one, two, three USB-C 3.2 ports. And let me see if I get a better angle of this for you. There is your gig Ethernet jack. All right, now the dock just rests in there. It's got plenty of room for maybe a, a small case. Let me just plug it in on the top. Now notice here, I do have a little bit of a gap which will help support docking it with a case on. Now this display port, if you're not going display port to, to a uh, TV or monitor has display port, you're gonna need an adapter or a cable. I chose to go with an adapter this is the JSOX DisplayPort HDMI adapter. So that's a DisplayPort. I believe you call that 1.2. And then you've got 4K HDMI out this side. And just use any HDMI cable you have. Kind of helps me a lot. All right, so in gaming mode, you can see I don't have any display here on the Steam Deck itself. And only one monitor is operational. Compared to desktop mode, where you saw the uh, Steam Deck, and I've got two monitors being driven by those two ports. I want to go ahead and do a speed test to show you guys how that Ethernet port works out. So this first test is going to be done on Wi-Fi. I've got gig Ethernet here at the house, so we should get half decent speeds. 100, 200, do I hear 300? Getting close and landing it at, it's like just shy of 315. So 315 down. I've got 40, I believe I got 40 uh, megabits up here at the house. Looks like we're not going to get half of that on Wi Fi. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch from Wi-Fi over to the wired network. Bear with me here, it's the first time I've actually done this. All right, there's wired, hit connect. Network management tells me it made the change. I don't see where to close this. Let's just click somewhere on the web browser. Okay. And now we're gonna give that test on ethernet. Going straight into the switch where my router's plugged into. Already we are at twice the speed of Wi-Fi. And again, I don't expect to get a full gigabit on this thing, but 600 plus is way better, obviously, than the 315 we got. So that is more than double what we're getting on the Wi-Fi. Looks like we're about to double the upload speeds too as well. We have about 15 before, so we're landing this just around 30, 31. So as you see, that Ethernet port is pretty handy. All right, so that's all the facts on the docking station for Steam by JSOX. Again, this is model number HB072, the 7-in-1 model. And this is currently available from their website directly for $59.99. 
Uh, as of this recording, it's actually on sale, $52.99. I do believe it's probably a little bit less than that on Amazon. However, if you want to buy it with a 45-watt charger, they are selling it for a bundled price, uh, normally $69.99 on their website, discounted right now for $59.99. That's U.S. dollars. So that right there to me is the better deal to go ahead and get the charger with uh, the international plugs and the uh, the dock. And because of that dual monitor support with the display port actually working on this, as you know, compared to the valve dock, which currently does not support uh, dual monitors at the same time, this has become kind of my gaming uh, hub when it comes to putting it on multiple monitors or maybe even on, let's say, a virtual pinball machine, which we may see coming up here soon. I'm looking at uh, how Pinball FX runs on the uh, ALP Micro from At Games using uh, Steam Deck and the JSOC stock. So um, if you're looking for a not too inexpensive uh, dock, yet very good alternative, very well built, I would say the JSOX is a great dock to get. So thanks for joining me here in the Basement Arcade. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you think this is the kind of content you want to see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time in Rascal's Basement Arcade. Thank you.